Hello third graders, it's Miss Nunley. I'm going to read you a book that's really interesting. It's called Life Size. Look how big this book is. So the, the panda face on the front of this book is the actual size of a panda face. Isn't that crazy? So this book is going to be about life size animals and what they actually how big they actually are so when you see the word life size you know that that's the actual size of the animal or the animal the body part of the animal got some flamingos down here oh. life size an african elephant's feet are so big we can only fit two life size toenails on this page Get your toes out and see who has the biggest toenails, you or an African elephant. Look at the toenails. Oh my gosh. The book is really big too. <laughs> there are so many wonderful creatures on this planet, from the teeny tiny to the utterly gigantic. But just how teeny tiny or utterly gigantic are they? Well, in this book, you can see for yourself because every time you see the word life size, you will know you are looking at an animal or a part of an animal that is actual size for real. So let's go on a life size adventure and see how you measure up against some of the world's most amazing animals. Here is a life size Bee hummingbird. Isn't it tiny? Look how tiny it is. In fact, it's the world's smallest bird and it can beat its wings super speedy 80 times per second. Try flapping your arms that fast. See if you can flap your arms that fast, third graders. High five a polar bear. Put your paw on the polar bear's life-size paw. Whose is the biggest? Look at that. Look at that paw. Polar bears live in a place called the Arctic, which is rather chilly. Brr, huge paws help, sir, help spread their weight on the snow and ice. Who else lives there? A narwhal's tusk is a tooth that grows through its top lip. Ouch. It can be over eight feet long. That's taller than Miss Nunley. These life-size lampreys have 11 to 12 rows of teeth. That's a lot of brushing before bedtime. See, there's the life-size lampreys. See these? Look at all those teeth that they have. Look how long they are. That's the actual size. Remember, when you see life size, that's the actual size of the animal. Try on a life size to toco toucan's beak. Hold it up to the side of your nose. How does it look? Look at that toucan's beak. Let's see if Miss Nelly can do it. Do I look silly with that? So that's the actual size of a toucan's beak. The toco toucan lives in the hot, leafy forest of Cuba. Its super snazzy beak makes up one third of its total size. That's like you are. That's like you having a beak that's half as tall as you are. What other birds live in Cuba's forest? Cuban parakeets are really sociable. This life-size parakeet is enjoying the shade and looking for some parakeet friends to play with. Look. A flamboyance of flamingos. Aren't these life-size toddies pretty? Their bright feathers aren't just for show. They are for camouflage in the colorful Cuban forests. Look, there's a life-size toddy. That's a bird. Look how, look how cute they are. Oh, gosh. You are eye-to-eye -eye with a life-size giant squid. Turn the page and look through the hole to see how you would look with a giant squid eye. I don't know if Miss Nunley can do it. Look how big that is! I have to make Nunley's glasses off. 
Giant squid live near the bottom of the oceans, where it's very dark. This is where having the largest eyes on the planet comes in handy. Big eyes help them to see better in the dark, which is useful when they're on the bot lookout for lunch. Who else lives down here? A Rubicondi jellyfish are the smallest jellyfish in the world. They glow in the dark just like the giant squid. But don't let the tiny twinklies of this life-size jellyfish fool you. It has a powerful sting. Look how long that goes. That's a jellyfish. I'll probably see some jellyfishes at the, if you go to the beach. This life-size pea crab is tiny. Although he is only two... 0.2 inches wide. He has 10 legs. That's eight more than you. Look at him. He's right there. He's smaller than the words on the page. Oh my gosh. Look at this page. Can't even fit it on the screen. Roar like a Bengal tiger. Hold the book under your nose to see what you would look like with a life-sized tiger roar. Kid, Miss Ellen can do it. Ah, oh, she might have to stand up. Look at that. That is a life-size tiger roar. Flip the book back around. <laughs> Most Bengal tigers live in the vast forests of India, but it's easy for them to stay in touch as their roars can be heard up to two miles away. Pardon? What other animals can you spot? This is a life-size tiger centipede. Let me see if I can put it on the page. These creatures have so many legs that they are bound to lose one here or there. But don't worry, they can just grow another one. If we lose a leg, we can't grow it. So that when they lose their legs, one of those tiny legs that you see, they can just grow it back. Gray linger monkeys and chittle deer are great friends, warning each other if there are any predators coming. Look out for the tiger. Here is a leaf. Oh, not really. It's a life-size leaf insect. These clever insects pretend to be leaves so they can hide from predators. Sneaky. Stick your tongue out at a life-size giraffe whose tongue is the longest. Look at that. Look how long it goes. That's how he reaches to get his food. In the trees. See their heads in the trees? Cheetahs are completely dotty. Not, no, really. They have up to 3,000 spots. African elephants are the largest land animals on the planet. They also have the biggest ears, which they flap to keep cool. Giraffes on the hot, grassy plains of Africa, they are the world's tallest animals, so it makes sense that they have an extraordinarily long tongue. This helps them reach the leaves of Aca on Acadia trees. Yum. What other animals live here? This life-size male rainbow lizard is usually reddish-brown, but it turns rainbow color to impress female lizards. Look at that lizard. That's the real size, because it says life-size. <sighs> Try these life-size kangaroo ears on for size. Hold them up to your forehead and jump around a bit. You are practically a kangaroo. Let's let Miss Billy put them on her head. Ah, can you see them? I have kangaroo ears. Ah, it's a big book. The fancy frill neck lizard opens its mouth and pushes out its frill to scare away other animals. Boom. Red kangaroos live in the hot and dusty Australian outback. Their big pointy ears can swivel to pick up sounds from all around. What other creatures live here? To get out of the hot sun, this life-size desert scorpion can burrow up to three feet down in a twirly spiral. Phew. Look at that scorpion. That's an actual size. Oh. Wow, we've traveled the world and seen some amazing life-size animals. Let's see how these animals compare in size to one another. They're using the life-size books to measure the animals. So a giant squid is 60 of these books. A giraffe is 18. Wow. 
Where do you fit into the lineup? Measure yourself using this book to see how you compare. Are you utterly gigantic or teeny tiny? Try measuring your friends and family as well. We won't be able to do that because this is just through a screen, but maybe Miss Nellie could bring this book in and we could see how we compare to some of these animals with, you, with the book. So, Remember when we talked about continents and we talked about all the different places? So today we learned about different animals that are from those different places, like kangaroos in Australia and other animals. So I hope you enjoyed this book, and I look forward to seeing you guys. I miss you so much. Love you. Bye.